Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while, but this is video number five or maybe six of 52 that I promised you this year. And today we're going to talk about online web forms, specifically four different forms um, that I want to go over the price, what is the best one to use and to get the most bang for your buck. And those are email me forms, cognito forms, jot form, and Wufu forms. Again, welcome back. This is uh, Jesse Clark with Big Business Look on a Small Business Budget. I've been out for a while. My computer crashed. I blew up my motherboard because I did not ground myself um, when I changed it out, the graphics card properly. Anyways, I'm all set. I'm back in business now and uh, let's get right into it. The reason I'm talking about this today is because 90% of my clients use web forms. They've asked me to, uh, they need a payment processor, they need to take money, they need to schedule events, they need to uh, in some way utilize a web form on their website. And so I, I've been using Jot forms for quite some time, but just recently they changed their prices and it was a dramatic change. And so the reason I'm, I'm discussing this today is, is there another form out there that works better or is JotForm really the one that I still want to use? Come to find out that really JotForm is the best in its class as far as the four that I, um, we're going to discuss today. There's Wufu forms, Cognito forms, and Email Me forms. And I'm going to give you a um, a price comparison and a feature comparison so you can see exactly what you're getting for what cost and which one would work best for you. So I broke these four forms down for you. The Cognito forms, Wufu forms, Email Me forms, and Jot forms. I provided the free version, the features you get with that, and the, the price you'll pay if you want to do um, payment option with like PayPal or Stripe. There's other uh, packages within these these web forms but these are the two that I'm gonna highlight so we have monthly price payment submissions total submissions how many forms you get to create and um, just some notes with that so starting out with Cognito forms uh, for $24 a month you can have up to 2,000 submissions and then the payments there's uh, there's there's no limit on there but you know obviously you can only have 2000 submissions so you can have 2000 payments as well you can have as many forms as you want now the free version you cannot accept payments at all you can have 500 submissions and then as many forms as you want now on to wufu forms you have $39 a month in order to get uh, to collect payments from um, on your form you can have up to 5,000 payments and submissions and again you can have as many forms as you want this has 13 payment processors including PayPal and Stripe where um, Cognito forms only allows PayPal and Stripe now the free version for Wufu forms you can see you have um, zero payment you cannot collect payments with the free version you can have 100 total submissions and five monthly forms. So email me forms, our third web form is 1995. You can have 10,000 uh, payment submissions and 10,000 uh, total submissions. Unlimited forms, you can have seven different payment processors including PayPal and Stripe. Um, the free version is also on uh, limited forms. You only get 100 total submissions you cannot accept payments on the free version here. Now JotForm, which is the one that I've been using that just jacked up their prices, um, after doing the research and getting into the back end of things, um, I still like their interface better and I, I do still feel that you get a lot more of a web form. You get a lot more, it's a better user interface, you get a lot more features, you get a lot more payment uh, processing options, like 24 of them. Um, but there's a $99 unlimited everything which I didn't include here because it's just easy it's everything but for $39 a month um, this is the most popular one you can get up to 100 payment submissions a month um, 
10,000 total submissions. Now on the Jot forms, the $39, you get actually four or 100 forms to work with, but on the free version, it's only five forms. So, so I'll again, I can provide this in the show notes um, for you. So now that you've seen that, let's just get into the back end of each form builder. And I'm gonna just kind of show you why Jot form is my favorite. Let's go ahead and just start with Cognito Forms. I'm just not a big fan of the uh, interface on it, but you can have some functionalities here. Limit form availability, allow um, link sharing, developer mode, you can go in and custom stuff. Um, entries, publish here if you want to publish it with a link or embed. Um, and you can actually go in and look at some templates. So you can see the the templates are they're just not as they're more basic if if you don't care about basic and you don't want a whole lot of um, design features with them and pictures and stuff this might be okay for you um, the 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 next one I want to look at is Wufu forms again this is still a drag and drop like you want it you don't get as many features but um, you can, here's if you want to do the payment integration, and it's just a little more basic. You don't have as functionality as you will see in the job form when we get there in a second. Again, you can go here to, um, let's see if there's form settings, field settings. I haven't used this one as much, but just enough to go in that uh, I, I tried it out a little bit just to know that I don't like the interface as much but hey check it out you can always set up a free account and see if you like it the next one is email me forms um, here's your features again this can be just um, drag and drop as well so again you you have quite a few features but as far as designing those features and modifying those features and developing them the way you really want um, are a little limited but again you can go in and check this out but this is how this looks on the back end now on to the last one jot form um, here's all the forms I've used see I, I I've been using this for so long I was using the free version where I ha had as many forms as I wanted and really no limitations to it but since then they've they've really it's become very popular so they figure well shoot let's let's raise our price and start charging people for this so Anyways, let me just go into one of the forms um, I've worked with. Um, I'll just go into here. So you can see over here all the widgets that you, you can access. Um, you can go here to your payments and it's literally just click and like drag and drop. So once you put that in there, um, you can go and connect with the payment processor that you're working with. Um, you can go over here and delete this. Go back. Um, basic fields. Then you can go into here into your widgets. What I like about this is there's a lot of different widgets that you can work with. And I I love JotForm for that. Um, and you can go in. There's even a timer on here display timer, output, minutes. So there's really a lot of cool things that they've, that they've added to the functionality of these forms. Um, you can go into settings, email, who do you want to um, have notified. You can go to conditional logic, which means, for example, let's go back to build. Let's say if I fill out my carrier here, your carrier here, and you want this to only be seen if someone puts in a certain character on this on this field so conditional logic means that if this then that so that's a really cool feature we use quite a bit um, a, another thing is I want to show you is the form designer you can actually go in here and get really crazy with the the forms the CSS the um, you can apply different themes to it colors I can change the colors right here styles the question spacing so I can do well that was a little harsh but you can adjust all of these things just through the uh, form designer so I'll, again I really like JotForm and 
I'm going to show you a website, a form that I've just built that's very um, that's very integrated and very customizable that I've that I've done. And I this another reason why I like JotForm. Let me just go into here and book your shuttle. So I had like a landing page. Which one do I want? Submit, and then it takes you to this. So you can you can add all pre um, pre for fields that if you want people to choose from on there fill all this stuff out and I've added pictures in the background and it's completely responsive for um, mobile and tablet devices so with that said I I just want to reiterate the fact that job form is um, my favorite and let's go back and here is the forms, uh, the pricing again. And again, you can look down the show notes and I'll have this just to give you a summary of what um, is available for you. But again, it depends on what you want. And if you have the budget, of course, I'm going to say go to job form. But if you're just building your business, check out these others. See if you like them. See how they work. And of course, you can always give me a call and I'm pretty good at um, building these things for you and consulting you. So um, get a hold of me. If you have any questions, thanks a lot, and we will talk to you soon.